occasions where anybody touches anybody without consent, without without the person's permission to do so, it is sexual harassment. This applies to Sam Pepper or anybody else on the on the YouTube platform or in person, you know, in normal day to day life outside of YouTube. This is not acceptable. It's sexual harassment. There's, you know, there's no reason to defend these people. At the end of the day, the sexual predators, anybody that does this kind of thing, if they can touch somebody without consent, as in just pinch somebody's bum, touch them on the boobs, you know, groping a woman, touching a man on the ass, touching a man's penis, anything like that, if you can just do something like that, uh, like what else is uh, these people capable of? They could be capable of anything. This be kind of behaviour shouldn't be tolerated in society, and YouTube should be doing all they can to say to other, to viewers this is wrong. And um, if you if you feel like you've been violated, speak out. These people are doing these kind of things. Like, you know, it's a, a committing crimes. You need to report it so that nobody else has to suffer f like, the, like you might have done. It's not right, right in, this society, in this society for that kind of thing to be, ex you know, accepted. So not in the 21st century either. I said this uh, behaviour isn't acceptable doesn't make you a man, doesn't make you a woman be, you know, doing these things. It just makes you a coward and a person with serious issues with regard to how they relate to other people and seriously mentally ill. To be honest with you, I've not really seen much of the Sam Pepper video. I'm not, subs I'm not subscribed to him. I never have been and never will be. Um, I saw him when he was on UK Big Brother and thought it was something about and about him a bit weird about him that back then. I mean that was probably 2010, four years ago, and I thought there's something about creepy and weird about him on that. I said, and um, clearly, all these years later, he's shown himself for what he is. Like, I think he needs um, some um, help help with his mental health issues that he might have or something like that or some personality disorder or something because he's not it just seems like there's something not quite right with him um but all, all these people that have been found out to be abusers on youtube so they deserve to be strung up in my opinion but i'm not condoning i've got condoning their behaviour as much as I'm not condo I'm not condoning vigilantism, like people going and doing things because of what other people have done. Said I don't agree with this. Oh, such and such a body should die because they do this. Such and such a body die to do that because, especially on social social media and right now, I it can cause a lot of trouble and basically, so I'm not. But these people that do these kinds of things deserve to be punished by the law, nothing else. I mean, if YouTube like suspends these people's accounts if they're uh, engaging in appropriate conduct with, uh, with not necessarily with like with their fans that might be underage. Oh, like you know, other YouTube creators said, you know, sexual harassment of any kind, whether it be man on man, man on woman, woman on man, woman on woman, it's not tolerated to any kind of sexual harassment. If if somebody feel just because just because somebody doesn't say no, doesn't mean they want it to happen. 
you know, people you need to look at the body language of the person. Does it this person look a bit uncomfortable about what's being done to them? Yeah, if they do, then stop. Because that is not consent. Consent isn't just about saying no. It's about body language of the person. If the person's, yeah, come on, do it, you know. Yeah, I'm enjoying that, you know what I mean. But if somebody's not saying anything, that doesn't mean it's consent. It just means they might be uncomfortable about what they're, what they're being made to do or what's been happening around them that they don't know what to say or do, they might be embarrassed, they might be that uncomfortable that they don't know what to say or do. But unless you have clear consent, unless you're saying, right, this is what I want to happen, I don't want this to happen, you know, unless it's a clear plan of what's going to go, going to be happening, then it's not consent. I just thought I'd better do a video. I said, this... this this kind of behaviour of any kind. I mean, I know there are other YouTubers out there that do this kind of thing. You know, I um, I I think you should YouTube should should take their videos down, even if they don't have as many subscribers as Sam Pepper. I said they can. You know, these these YouTubers have a lot of influence over young people, and young men and young women are going to think that this kind of behaviour, you know, they can be expected to put up with this kind of behaviour and this kind of behaviour is acceptable, they're allowed to do this kind of behaviour and it's alright. Well, no, it's not. It's not alright at all. In the YouTube community or outside in everyday, normal day-to-day -day life where you know people, you, it's not acceptable, end of not condoning anything like this, any kind of behaviour. This ped predatory behaviour is unacceptable in today's society and it shouldn't be al allowed to happen, shouldn't be allowed to carry on. People, the law needs to do a lot of work with YouTube and th things like this. It needs a lot more policing, although that would be physically possible. But something needs to be done. YouTube needs to take a hard stand on any videos that could be deemed as t um, s term, um, violating their terms and conditions with regard to sexual harassment or anything, you know, anything of a graphic nature, whether that be sexual, se sexually graphic, you know. Videos that are inappropriate with guards, possible sex scenes that aren't consensual that, that probably go around on YouTube. And that's all I'm saying. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.